I'm at ScienceWorks to discover the latest exhibition called Light Time. It's a fusion of art and science that is sure to blow the mind. Light Time is a very unusual experience for ScienceWorks. What we've essentially done is over a very, very short period of time, we've thrown it up into the lap of the gods and we've asked um, artists across Victoria to contribute ideas to presenting their works on the floor about light. In this exhibition we've actually pulled right back to a more big picture thing um, to really get let people explore for themselves. Darren Verhagen from RMIT University is the creator of an artwork exploring how nausea can be induced by light and sound. This particular work, which is called Blue Red uh, Vim's Sims, is an exploration of visually and sonically induced motion sickness. Um, and so the idea is that you put your hand in the light well and then the shadows dance around to a particular soundtrack that you're listening to. If you choose the headphones on the blue pill, you only get an audio-visual experience. If you choose the headphones on the red pill, you get a simultaneous commentary explaining to you what we're doing to you in order to induce the nausea. Victoria University educator, scientist and artist Nick Athanasiu is the creative force behind Melbourne group Skunk Control. Essentially it's a, it's a floating garden that opens and closes um, and as it opens um, there's an inner chamber of um, flowers that actually change colour. You get a sense of solace and also um, there's a bit of contemplation so people can sit underneath the installation on bean bags and actually sort of um, just think about things really. Yeah. We've got the realm of the science experience but we've also got a nightclub and an art gallery all happening in one here and, and that's a lot of fun for us. And it's not the traditional kind of experience which is only focused at children. I'm really hoping that heaps of adults will come as well and they don't have to bring a child companion along with them to make an excuse to come out to science works. We're breaking a bit of the myth where there's a typical sort of um, association that engineers and scientists aren't necessarily artists. And we like to break that mould because we tend to think that what we do is also art. We have had, we've had comments such as, um, well, you guys are engineers, you shouldn't be making things that look nice. And that's a bit of a strange sort of connotation because we think, well, we're also individuals and we do like things that are nice as well, so why not actually bring both worlds together? David McAlpine, Mojo News.